the area on Okanka for of Yoruba land. Baba Gani Adams says Nigeria is at war with itself because a section of the country consistently betrays the all citizens. He stated this on Saturday at the annual June 12th commemoration anniversary organized by Odua People's Congress at the Excellence Hotel in the Keja area of Lagos State. He also said the late MK Wabiola will never be happy in his grave that the democracy he lived and died for has turned out to be autocratic in nature and practice, according to a statement by his media aide, Kendi Adiremi. The statement was titled June 12th, Abiola no, will not be happy in his grief that you know this democracy turned autocratic. That is what Ghani Adams have said. He also criticized the federal government for banning microblogging site Twitter, saying it is an attempt to gang the press and stifle freedom of expression. Adam said, this present danger has been threatening the fragile union of our state, a great country, and sadly Nigeria is sliding towards the anarchical terminal point. Nigeria is at war with itself because a section of the country has always betrayed the trust which is the bond and you know bind us together. It is the bond that binds us together as a nation. A good example of this is the federal government's span and suspension of Twitter platform. As far as I am concerned, it is another ploy to tamper with the citizens' rights of freedom of speech and expression. And if the federal government succeeded in banning and suspending Twitter, it would easily do the same for other social media platforms. Now that the federal government has said all social media platforms must be registered to continue operating in the country, we must follow the trend and you know, rise against you know, skewed regulations. We must stop this excessive use of federal might to you know, truncate the ideas of democracy. In a global democracy, freedom of speech and expression is a major component of an ideal democracy. And Nigeria cannot continue to live in you know, desist and self-denial. If democracy could not guarantee freedom of speech and expression, so what system of government will guarantee such component of good governance? He queried, what is your thought about this that has been said? What is your thought about what you know, Ghani Adams have said? He said Nigeria is at war with itself because a section of the country you know, consistently betray the all citizens. What is your thought about this? A section of the country, you know, consistently, you know, betrayed the all citizens. That is what Ghani Hadam has said. He stated this on Saturday at the you know, annual 12th, June 12th, you know, commemoration anniversary organized by Odua People Congress at the Excellent Hotel in Ikeja, area of Lagos State. What is your thought about this? Your father want to say MK Abiola will not be happy. He will never be happy, you know, in his grave. Looking at the democracy he lived and died for to turn into, you know, it has turned to be autocratic in nature and practice, according to the statement by his media aide, Kendi Adiremi. He said, you know, MK Abiola will not be happy with what is happening. He will not be happy in his grave with the current situation of things. The democracy he lived and died for has turned to be autocratic in nature and practice. What is your thought about this? What do you think can be done in this kind of situation when the democracy itself has turned into autocratic? People are no longer you know, doing what they ought to do. Even the government itself has failed in its responsibility to the citizen. Protection of life and properties is number one priority of the government, but as of you know, government of Nigeria, I don't think that is their number one priority because looking at what is going on, it shows that our government are not really concerned about it. You know, Ghanaian Adams have also criticized the federal government for banning microblogging sites. Twitter saying it is an attempt to gang, you know, the press and stifle freedom of expression. Imagine a microblogging site, you know, being banned by the federal government and from different countries, from different countries like the UK, United States, Canada, you know, have urged Nigeria to please release this ban and you know forfeit this ban of microblogging sites twitter and said 
they should release it and let it continue because it is just as if you are stopping the citizens you know you are denying them the freedom of expression because everybody has the right you know to you know express his or her feelings concerning the present situation of things people has the freedom of expression in nigeria but you banning you know the micro blogging site that is the twitter it is an attempt you know to you know denying the citizens of their freedom of expression what is your thought about this it is obvious that we have you know much more social media platforms of which is you know your desire can be expressed what you want can be expressed through but it's of no use for you to ban you know twitter that is what has been said so many people have agitated that ban the ban on you know micro blogging site should be you know reconsidered they should think about it before banning it in fact we want them to stop the ban we want them to stop the ban that is what people have been saying but presently now with the look of things the government is not in the right frame of mind to release the ban they are not you know attempting and probably they might not even you know take away the ban they might not you know leave the ban this ban might continue and if it continues don't you think it will really you know affect the citizens of nigeria because most people are addicted to this twitter they are used to it but if the government has banned it then it will cause them a lot of harm people will not have access to you know twitter again people will not be able to tweet people like to tweet people like to tweet on twitter but with the present situation of things we just hope that the law will just vindicate nigeria from this present situation because it is really getting out of hands even this you know citizens of nigeria are frustrated about the present situation of things they are frustrated everybody is just trying everybody is frustrated even the government of nigeria also they are tired of this present situation because they don't know what to do about it they don't know how to go about it if democracy could not guarantee freedom of speech and expression so what system of government you know should guarantee such components of good governance because you know democracy is the only you know system of government that will guarantee and can you know guarantee the freedom of speech and expression because in democracy you have the right you know and the freedom of speech you have the freedom of expression you express yourself through your speech you you know dialogue with people let people react to your own your own thought share your thought with us let people to react to your own thought in democracy but if democracy is not being guaranteed freedom of speech and expression so what other system of government do you think can guarantee such components of good governance that was a query from Ghani adams what is your thought about this we'd like you to drop your thought with us on what has been said like to see your own reaction and point of view concerning what you know the area on the of your land have said that nigeria is at war with itself because a section of the country constantly you know betray all the citizens of nigeria what is your thought about this we would like you to drop your thoughts via the comment section on what Ghani adams have said that nigeria is at war you know with itself because of betrayal by one section thank you guys for listening to subscribe to this channel if you have not and i will see you on the other news bye for now